In this short tutorial, we're just going to take a quick look at the choice of sampling rate and bit depth and how it affects our channel selections. The default channel setting is to have 16 bit bit depth and 44.1 kHz sample resolution, and that gives you eight channels of audio, and each jack can have eight channels of audio per jack. By default, this is split as four channels of input and four channels of output. But you can change this if you want. For example, if you only had, say, mono guitar input being sent to your iPad, you could change that to one channel. And then if you have something like Aurea, which is recording multiple channels and you want to send those outputs back to your door, you can do so by changing the number of output channels appropriately as well. And you can make changes either way between the input and the output channels. And you can do the same for the other two jacks as well. Now if you change the bit depth or the sample rate, you will change the number of channels you have available. For example, if you go to a 96 kHz sample rate, you will reduce the number of channels to 4. Likewise, if you go up to a 24-bit depth, you will reduce the number of channels to 4. You can go up to 48 kilohertz and retain eight channels if your other audio equipment supports using 48 kilohertz. Let's look at using a higher sampling rate and see what that does to the channel selections. If I choose that, you'll notice that now I only have two input channels and two output channels per device. And if I want to, I can change the selection, the balance between the, the input and the output channels as well. And this may be a good compromise depending upon whether you want a higher fidelity, a lower number of channels, a different bit depth, and so on. 